Hi, good afternoon. David Pillup with Remax. My guest this afternoon is Stan Gelman. Stan, thank you for joining us. Well, thank you very much for having me, David. I'd like to, and I'm very often asked, about having a pet in the condominium. What are your thoughts on the rules? Well, you have to look at the rules in the declaration. If the condominium corporation has rules, regulations, or it's in the declaration that you can't have a pet, well, you can't have a pet. However, if you have had a pet or do have a pet and those uh, rules were changed after uh, you bought or before you bought the pet, then you have grandfather rights on that uh, and you'll be able to keep the pet. Uh, recently there's been uh, court cases which have indicated even though that rule uh, exists in either the rules or the declaration and if you've had the pet long enough and the condo uh, corporation knew or should have known notwithstanding they're not going to be able to get you to uh, take the pet away. I understand that some people also have a claim for companionship because of the comfort that the animal provides. That I understand that however you still have to go back to the rules and the regulations as well as the uh, declaration to ascertain that. Uh, as for companionship, uh, that isn't going to apply. Uh, you have to again look at the rules the declar and the declaration. Wonderful. Thank you very much Stan for coming out. My pleasure. Stan can be reached at 905-270-5110 or check him out online at wiselawyer.ca.